Hello and welcome to the Creative Kobold. Today I'm going to show off uh, some miniatures that I got from Miniature Market mostly. Uh, these are all pre-painted miniatures. First off, I got these for Vargui. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, they're basically uh, just undead looking heads with bat wings sprouting out from where their ears should be. Uh, so those are weird looking monsters, but they are also a bit classic monsters, so those are pretty nice. And I got four of them because uh, some miniatures are just better to have multiples of uh, if you want to use them in an encounter. Then I got this uh, winged dog. It's called a homunculus. This is from the Eberon uh, set, I believe. The Eberon uh, book is where they introduce the Artificer class for D&D, so this is one of the um, suggested options for uh, homunculi that you can uh, make using that uh, specific class. This set also has another miniature uh, that looks almost the same, but has a different name. Can't remember it right now. Uh, but it's basically the same sculpt, but without the wings. Uh, either way, both of them are really cool looking, and I'm happy to have it uh, either as its own creature or uh, as a homunculus uh, for use by an artificer or similar. Then we have Sort of in the same vein, we have this uh, uh, anvil wrought raptor. This is, I believe, from the uh, Theros campaign, which is a Magic the Gathering based campaign uh, or campaign setting. It is uh, sort of a metal uh, bird-like creature, and I figured it it would work very well as another homunculus. If someone wanted um, an artificer with a more uh, bird-like homunculus. Next up we do have we have this dwarf mage right. Now she is a very cool looking dwarf. I uh, like her white mohawk. Uh, she definitely looks like some sort of artificer. Some spell uh, going on, uh, uh, spell action going on in her hand there, and uh, it's just an overall uh, cool design, and could definitely also generally do with more female dwarves, so I'm very happy to have that in my collection. Then also from the Theros uh, campaign, this is the Two-Headed Cerberus. Uh, personally there aren't that many miniatures that I want from the uh, Theros set, but this is one uh, that is very much useful in uh, all campaigns, because this works perfectly as a death dog. Then we have the uh, Death Pact Angel. This is a super cool miniature, in my opinion. And it's not hard to see why she is a Death Pact Angel uh, with the scythe and the black wings and basically looking like the Grim Reaper. This is a super cool looking miniature. Um, yeah, I'm sure I can get a lot of use out of that one. And we have the Mind Drinker Vampire, which is probably one of the best looking vampire miniatures um, from any pre-painted miniature set. I think this one is also from uh, uh, the Ravnica uh, set, which is uh, also a Magic uh, the Gathering based uh, campaign setting. Um, but he is just super cool looking, and there are several other miniatures in here from that set. 
such as this. This is the Archlight Phoenix, which is a more lightning-based uh, Phoenix-like uh, creature. Also from the Ravnica set. And we have this Medusa, which uh, I'm not quite sure what set is from, but she is very nice looking. It's kind of hard to see uh, that the her hair is made up of snakes, but that's that's very hard to do at this scale. Uh, but you can see they sort of um, peek up a bit here and there. Either way, I really like this uh, Medusa sculpt, and I don't think I have any Medusa from earlier, so this is nice to have in the collection. Then we have this Skull Lord. Now I think this, uh, I won't say for certain, but I think this is from uh, Volos and Mordenkainen's uh, foes. Uh, either way, it's a uh, high-level uh, creature that uh, your your uh, players don't want to meet in battle. So really happy to have that, as I didn't have one before. Then I got this uh, uh, Skyjack Rock. It's a very nice looking armored bird creature. So if you have a, a town or a city with a, a guard that rides these into battle, that would be just amazing. So these are just super cool miniatures, large sized, and they were actually pretty cheap. I think they were like three dollars, two or three dollars a piece. So I got not ju not just one of them, but I got a total of three. So I could have enough for a nice little encounter. Maybe I'll even get more later. Then I got uh, a couple of uh, premium painted miniatures. This is the human druid, female human druid. And it's a super nice looking druid miniature. So the premium painted miniatures have a bit more details in their paint jobs, uh, which is very nice. Um, but you do pay a bit extra for it as well. However, I feel that it's uh, it, it's worth it to get some perhaps player character minis that are uh, better painted than the ones that you get in the blind boosters. And the second premium painted miniature I got was this female tabaxi rogue, which is a also a very nice looking sculpt and a very nice paint job. I also don't have enough tabaxi miniatures and I don't think there are enough uh, tabaxi miniatures, so um, extra happy to have this because of that. Yeah, those two were just um, two premium painted miniatures that I just felt I very much needed to have. Then I got this Rakshasa, which is uh, a named NPC called Mahadi. I'm not quite sure what uh, set he's from, um, but he is very cool. And this one I didn't get from Miniature Market, I got this one from a uh, local store called Outland here in Norway. And he was a bit expensive uh, there, but not overly so, And uh, though I probably could have gotten him cheaper on Miniature Market or, so, or something. However, it was, a, it, it was nice to get a Rakshasa, as I don't have anyone from earlier. And... Final, final miniature I got from uh, Greenfield Games uh, here in Norway. So this is the uh, Rage of Demons premium miniature, 
Just move these others out of the way for a bit. This is definitely a an adult dragon, Dracolich, and a white Dracolich at that. Very, very nice looking. Really enjoy it. The base is slightly larger than it should be, but that's probably be, uh, for uh, stability. Would probably have been fine with a huge base instead of a gargantuan, but the, here we are. Either way, miniature is super cool. Really enjoying it. Yeah, uh, Greenfield Games actually uh, uh, was able to order this in uh, specifically for me, so that's that's super awesome of them. So yeah, that's it. Got some very nice looking and useful pre-painted miniatures here. Super happy with all of them. So I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.